immensely concerning developments happening in Georgia. So three stop cop city activists have been arrested in Georgia. I mean, this is a part of a larger effort to crack down on anybody opposing the construction of cop city um which is the massive compound in a forest in georgia that activists environmental activists want to be protected let alone the clearly disturbing trend of giving police more and more infrastructure and power because these are the kinds of things that they do with it here um they have crack down on activists arrest dozens of them i mean they killed uh a forest defender named tortuguita i guess there's been yeah like for over 40 activists facing domestic terror charges uh on trumped up claims by the police but the recent incredibly concerning development here is that three activists as i mentioned have been arrested after a SWAT team raided the home where the organizers were, and they're charging them, the uh, Georgia Bureau of Investigation working with Atlanta police, with money laundering and charity fraud. And in this instance, these activists were working with the Atlanta Solidarity Fund, which is essentially a, non a part of a nonprofit that helps raise money for bail funds um and bail funds not illegal last time i checked in this country not in the slightest <laughs> but when you're in a fascist police state these are the kinds of charges that are going to be brought against protesters particularly if you're on the left um so brian kemp released a statement about this he issued a press release here if we have that um, the governor of Georgia. This was his description of how his administration is cracking down on the cop city uh, forest protectors. Let's put up this, yeah. Um, for months, law enforcement on the state and local level have worked diligently to secure the site of the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center in the face of violence from mostly out-of-state activists. Now, I want you to pay attention to that phrase because that was very similar language used in the civil rights movement to describe people coming in and protesting. And let's be very clear about like uh, local control of government and to the extent that's at stake here. First of all, every corporation, including like, <laughs> what did you say, the Falcons or the... the yes, the owner um, of the Falcons, Arthur Blank, is funding this. Norfolk Pop Southern, thing. Uh, yep. the railroad behind the East Palestine crash is funding this. So you want to talk about like outside uh, uh, agitation, like uh, that's probably where I would start with this. It's a great point. Um, and... The outside oh, money in that instance really pales in comparison to the cobbling together of bail funds yes. for these protesters. And, and the other point to make is like, if it really like local control is your concern, this issue could be very easily solved by throwing it to a referendum. But they're instead, terrified to do that. Instead, yes. we're using we're going in there like it's Fallujah, and we're uh, also using like basically like the uh, 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 tactics the FBI used against um, different sort of uh, liberation movements like Black Panthers, um, uh, American Indian Movement to basically. Uh, legally tie up anybody who's uh, as a, as not only to like ruin their lives and take them out of the paint, but also send a message to the movement. It, chilling effect. So yeah, you could do that. You could do this with democracy. They're using cops. Um, so uh, he continues after calling them <laughs> in the face of violence from a, uh, and now. And another point: the violence came from the cops who murdered murdered a guy They're murdered about it. murdered Tortuguita. Um, uh, so. The uh, For months, law enforcement on the state and local level have worked diligently to secure the site of the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center in the face of violence from mostly out-of-state activists. Would it matter if... Uh, Take a vote then, Brian. Yeah, see, yeah, if you want it just to be left to the state, uh, voters, we can make that happen. They came to harass police officers and civilians, choosing destruction over legitimate protests. The destruction, I, this is me speaking now, is what's happening to the land there. And that's what environmental yeah. activists are concerned about. Thanks to our brave law enforcement, many of them have already been arrested. And today we're proud to share those 
uh, that those who back their illegal actions are also under arrest and will face justice. Um, these criminals facilitated and encouraged domestic terrorism with no regard for others, watching as communities Sorry, face the, the destructive consequences of their actions. What communities? It, it is regard for others and the communities. Like, if you, again, this, all this is a bluff. If you think the communities are so supportive of Cop City, take a referendum on it. Here in Georgia, we do not allow that to happen. Today's announcement is a reminder that we will track down every member of a criminal organization from violent foot soldiers to their uncaring leaders. We will not rest until they are arrested, tried, and face punishment. Again, this is just fascist insanity. Yeah. And then he thanks all the cops um, and other uh, people working on this front. Rest assured, if you endanger the people of Georgia, law enforcement like them will ensure you face with justice. The person who died in this instance was Tortuguita, who cops seemingly, based on, you know, again, allegedly what we know now, are completely being untruthful about the circumstances surrounding their death. There is a person who actually was harmed in this instance, and that was Tortuguita. Not the, I don't know, communities that he's referencing. What is it, the donut-eating community? I don't really give a crap about the foot soldier for fascism here, because the implications for not just this situation, but for environmental activism in particular, more large, uh, more broadly. I mean, they're massive. These are the kinds of tactics that they're going to be copy pasted when there are other environmental actions throughout the country. This is a test run, as was DAPL, as was the, I mean, Pipeline protests, I'm forgetting uh, in Washington the exact name of that one. But the, some of the tactics that were used against activists in that way, like they are trying to create a blueprint for fascism to make sure that protests against these, the kind of destruction that actually matters are as cracked down upon as possible. And again, like just the second step of going after the people raising money to get these forest protectors out of prison. It's just, it's just astounding to me. Yeah. And I'll say this, um, this is on at this point, uh, Democrats, I think you, we need a lot more forceful from like, I mean, a, a, I think ACLU is going to be on this, but like, politicians particularly anyone who wore a kente cloth during the george floyd protests this is uh absolutely the moment to be extremely and and they're not like i i mean maybe i maybe i've missed certain things stacy abrams has said or warnock said but like I, I, or ossoff like mm -hmm. but like this is um i think that tepidness is allowing this sort of response and i'm sorry like it's it, it's great to have an organization that can like uh, agitate to uh, make sure like mail-in votes are still counted. But this is like a, a acute emergency for democracy right now, and like there needs to be way more alarm uh, on the part of the party that is supposedly uh, you know nominally representing democracy. We had a caller call in last week, and I wrote it down in my notes. Just wanted to make sure I touched on it here too, because like this is not just happening to with environmental activism. Um, in Asheville, uh, the caller wrote in and spoke about how the city in that instance is bringing charges against um, pr uh, activists who were helping out the houseless in uh, Asheville on felony littering charges. Felony littering charges. So they'll bring whatever they can. They'll bring the full force of the law down on people fighting for environmental activism, for the rights of homeless people in this country, for anybody that challenges the churn of power and capital in the country. That's it. And for everybody else, hey, free pass. So yeah, what you're seeing is the American sort of uh, uh, state, uh, corporates, uh, corporations included, r basically preparing for, OK, we got uh, uh, sort of shown up by the George Floyd protests, we need to prepare cops for the next one of those. Mm -hmm. And like, that's what we're seeing there. So this, all these folks who are actually saying like the George Floyd protests were, uh, uh, were, was like the democratic party burning down cities. They're actually doing the work of like the pro cop Democrats right now, um, in helping push basically things like cop city and other policies.